So now in this video we're going to come back to the single supply op amp comparator. We're going to use the LM358. It works with the single supply. So we got uh, 5 volts across the two power terminals and we're going to take the component from the last video, the light dependent resistor. So its resistance changes based on how much light is falling on it. And we have the uh, same wiring we've been using a lot in these videos couple of 10 kilo ohm resistors setting half of the supply voltage since half the resistance is on each side of the supply there going to the inverting input that's the voltage that the op amps going to look at and compare to the non-inverting input so when enough light is falling on the LE, on the uh, light dependent resistor I mean then the resistance is going to be well below 10 kilo ohms of resistance there's going to be less resistance on the positive side we're going to have a higher voltage than a 2.5 volts and the output will be high it doesn't connect directly to the 5 volt supply but uh, somewhat close red LED will be on if it gets dark enough if we get it really dark it'll get above 200 million ohms we looked at that in the last video but uh, in any case all we have to do is get above uh, 10 kilo ohms so we get it uh, dark enough the resistance will be above 10 kilo ohms not terribly hard and so we'll have lower than half of the supply voltage that we set there we're going to have a low output which is almost a direct connection to ground connects to ground better than the positive supply that's why it's a single supply op amp but uh, any case it's really that simple and it makes the circuit a lot more interesting using a light dependent resistor so now the LM358 we're going to use came from this kit it gives us the pin layout which is really nice we have another op amp on that side we're not going to use that one but uh, pin 8 there we have VCC pin 4 we have ground you could also use a split supply where that's a negative voltage in relationship to ground but uh, we're going to stick with the single supply so VCC pin 8 positive supply and then pin 4 down there negative supply you can see that little divot right there so the uh, top pin right there is our output and the pin below that is our inverting input and the pin below that is our non inverting input so on the schematic I had the inverting input above the non-inverting input. Sometimes the non-inverting is above the inverting. But when it comes to the op amp itself, they uh, don't move. And so you got to make sure you pay close attention in case the schematic has them flipped. That you don't also wire them up as they are flipped. And so here is the circuit. 10 kilo ohm resistor right there from the uh, non-inverting to ground. We could use a different value. And uh, so... A uh, lower value would help hold it the voltage lower longer and higher value would help hold the voltage high longer uh, the light dependent resistor comes to the positive supply we could also swap which side the light dependent resistor is on uh, with all other things being equal it'll just change when the red LED and the blue LED uh, flip and it'll also change the exact voltage so it won't be exactly the same but uh, in any case you may have to fiddle with it a little bit to, uh, to get exactly what you want but in case we have our fixed voltage there 2.5 volts 10k to negative and 10k to positive and again with the LEDs the output one of them heads towards the uh, negative supply so that one lights up when the output is high comes up here 220 ohm resistor to the long lead the anode you have to put in the right way for it to light up and uh, this LED lights up when the output is low like that so you can see the positive supply is up there so this is connected basically to ground when the blue LED is lit up as we said before so long lead has to be on that side since that side is more positive one kilo ohm resistor we're using higher resistance because this is just a naturally brighter LED and also it has more of the uh, voltage across it than that way because the output does not get all the way to 5 volts but it does get pretty much all the way to uh, 0 volts so we'll zoom back you can see we got 5 volts there about 6 milliamps for the red LED approximately and about uh, two milliamps for the blue LED approximately and they're about the same brightness but uh, in any case you can uh, swap around these components as you want the main thing is the voltages that you are giving to them and we're adjusting one of the voltages with a light dependent resistor and so by adjusting the value of the uh, other resistors we can get those exact voltages changed or whatnot there's a lot of modifications that you can make to it but uh, that would make for a really boring video probably even hard to understand so I'm just gonna leave it at that you can just do experimenting on your own if you want to go further into that 
But uh, the late dependent resistor makes a lot of basic circuits a lot more interesting. So that's why I wanted to introduce it now. And we'll use it in a lot more videos in the future. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I got a link down in the description. But just watching the videos helps a ton. So thanks for that. I will see you in the next video.